Baylor football is now just two days away. As we count it down, it's that time to predict every game on the 2022 schedule. This is Locked on Baylor. You are Locked on Baylor, your daily podcast on the Baylor Bears, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Drake Toll alongside Cam, Cam Stewart. Both of us work for Sports Illustrated's Inside the Bears. Welcome you into Locked On Baylor. Thank you for making Locked On Baylor your first listen every single day. And it's the cap of a four-part series, breaking down every team in the Big 12, and we end it with the best team in the Big 12, or are they the Baylor Bears? Every game we predict, every single game of the 12 that are on Baylor schedule, so we will hit... The first four, Cam, going game by game, Baylor and the Albany Great Danes, the year of our Lord, 2022, who wins? Honestly, Drake, when you were prefacing that, I forgot who they were playing. I was like, I really hope he says the opponent name because I don't know, but that's a Baylor win. How confident are you? Very confident. What if? More confident than Liberty. What if, like, Three of the four Baylor buses all break down on the way to the stadium. Then they won't cover. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got Baylor beating Albany this weekend. Although, shout out Greg Gattuso, who Baylor's Friend game of the notes. Show. Baylor's game notes put Gary Gattuso this week. Just not the guy's name. I thought it was freaking funny. I mean, they didn't do it on purpose, but just, pretty legendary. Just let him know it's not from us. He's a friend of the show. Friend of the show. Game two, Baylor and BYU. Here's where we get to the nitty and gritty. The game's in Provo. There'll be 65,000 yeah. screaming BYU fans who all share one thing in common. Followers of Joseph Smith. That's Taylor true. goes into BYU. Oh, as who knows what they're yelling? Yeah. Yeah. Or drinking. <laughs> Look! Not alcoholic. Though. Look! Not alcoholic. We'll bring them the Dr. Pepper. They're going to love us. Cam, game two BYU, I have said this is an auto loss. I have said on this show that Baylor's going to lose this game undoubtedly. And now I have tickets to the game. So I lied. Baylor's going to beat BYU in Provo with both you and I in attendance. We're going to be there. In the press box. We bought a rental car. Cam, I've got uh, Baylor at 2-0. and have a hotel yet. That's a, that's a uh, call to action for the listeners. We got any in the greater Provo Salt Lake area. Want to house Drake and I? Oh, we do need a hotel, yeah. They'll probably just house you, honestly. Uh, you had it as not a loss. Change your mind. I haven't. That's a loss from Baylor. You're going with Baylor losing to BYU in week two. Yeah. And I've, I have said it when we did it before. I don't remember what episode. I think Baylor's the better team. I really do. But I don't think we're, we, obviously not being the coaching staff, uh, we, yet, are not going to learn anything about Baylor week one, I don't think. That's not to say we won't have takes on Twitter. Uh, we'll say how great everybody looked, but that level of competition is just not good enough to learn anything positive about Baylor. So those kind of suck. It's almost like a lose-lose. And week two, true road game, team that's looking for revenge. I just... I. <sighs> Mountain time, you know, change of the time zones, a little, little different throwing the football in that mountain air. I just I just think the odds are stacked against Baylor in that one, even though Baylor's the better team. And it's the loss I would take the best, honestly, if that's what we're talking about. As a fan, it's the loss I could handle the you best. You really think the mountain air is going to beat yeah. Baylor? I need something, Drake. I need something. If I had straws in front of me, I'd grasp at them. I'll say this. That is not. I can't I pick have, a 15 and 0 Baylor. I have some games on here that are that are stupid losses. That's not one of them. Baylor's just bigger, faster, stronger. Have you seen BYU, name BYU's quarterback right now? Exactly. No, you can't. No, they still have a Romney on the that. team, though. That's dangerous. They still have a Romney, guys. Republicans. Of course they do. Week three. So Cam's at one and one Baylor, who have now dropped out of the top 25 because that's no, like, no, obviously no, they haven't, but the AP voters, no, hate they're Baylor. 17. Some people hate Baylor. So Baylor is now playing Texas State at home, and I have a curb stomp after what happened last year, not only to avenge the camera crew 
uh, or how bad that broadcast was, but also because it was 29 to 10 was the final score that gave it was a miserable 29 ball 20, I believe. 29 20. That's right. That's right. right. 29 20, yeah. double 10. Um, and it was not very fun to watch. I think Baylor just rolls over Texas State, especially in your case after a loss. I think what's going to be so great, they should do like the hype video before the line comes out. It should just be the highlights from last year's game that like nobody saw like yeah. the pick six where the, where the camera guy is zooming in on the linebacker and there's no white balance. I think that's what the hype video should be to really let the boys know what they're playing for. Okay. Uh, this is to avenge not hiring their baseball coach whose name I don't even remember. All right. That's a Baylor win. Baylor wins it. Three and zero for me, two and one for Cam, and then you get opening Big Twelve play against Iowa State, and you're in Ames, September twenty fourth. Ha! No tarps for you, Baylor. You can't bring your tents to our stadium where it's going to be a whopping seventy six degrees in Ames on September twenty fourth. Cam, what do you see in this one? Tricky. It's going to be tricky, Dre. Yeah. First conference game is always a little tricky, especially when you're on the road, unless you're playing Kansas. It's always just a little bit tricky, and Iowa State will have lost to Iowa by that point, but they don't know that they're supposed to be that bad yet. That said, Baylor still wins it and probably covers. Don't even know what the spread is, but I think they win it by like 10 points, though mm. though they don't really pull away until till the end. Baylor wins in Ames. They've done it before. They do it again this season. I don't think Iowa State's a very good football team. We've already talked about how they sneak up on some people this year and get some bigger wins, but Baylor goes into Oklahoma State the next week at 4-0 and in my book, Three and one in Cam's book and in the book of Bet Online, you can tell us will Baylor win more than seven and a half games? Right now at betonline.net, you can go seven and a half points, Cam. Seven and a half point ga- wow. games, Cam. Minus 150, Baylor to win seven and a half games. Over or under, what do you say? Do I want to spoil it for the rest of the show? No, Hundo P, just say over or over. Under. Yeah, 100%. It's over. Betonline.net, you can go there right now. Minus what is it a comfortable over? 100%. Put $200 on it, win $75. No, 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 no. I lied to you. Put $100 on it, win $75. Do it right now. Bet online. Uh, I've already done it. I did. I put $100 down on Baylor to win seven and a half games. So I wouldn't tell you to do something that I haven't already done myself. And if you lose that $100, I can't help you. <laughs> We're not going to be on you. Uh, yeah, I just think it's what's going to happen. So betonline.net is where the game starts. Ton of awesome uh, lines, podcasts. Jazz like that. See live scores at betonline.net. Week five, Oklahoma State and Baylor, a top 25 game, likely a top 15 game, in my book, a top 10 game in Waco. I think Baylor wins this one against Spencer Sanders and Cruz. Sanders will still be fired up to beat Baylor for like, you know, he's, oh, what did he do last year against Baylor? Not good. There's seven interceptions in total. Probably should have been 0-2. But instead, he escaped with a win in in Stillwater that Baylor's avenging, and then he lost the Big 12 championship game. I still don't see Spencer Sanders being that good, even if he tries to get up, because it's Baylor. It's just not going to happen for the guy. I, I think Baylor wins this game at home in a, in a way like they did against West Virginia at home last year. I, I just think they kind of wiped the floor with these guys. I can't wait for this game. I cannot wait. It's going to be so fun. Gold out, a little bold gold. It's going to look great at McLean Stadium. But Bears are going to win. Bears are going to win. I think the defense is just going to just frustrate the ever-loving hell out of them, honestly. I don't know if we're going to see a four-pick game again. I mean, we could, the way Spencer plays against us. Uh, I just think it's going to be like – trying to give a comparison to a game last year like you did. Uh, Oklahoma. The BYU OU, game? OU. The o- OU, the OU yeah. where they just, like, the, you know, Baylor kind of let OU hang around for a lot of that game. They didn't kind of step on their throat, but the defense just wasn't giving them an inch. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that's another one. I think Baylor wins maybe my double digits. I will get to some close games at some point. BYU will be close. And a loss in your book. But, so but I have Baylor, Baylor beats Oklahoma State. Undefeated in 5-0 in my book, 4-1 and one on your ledger as they head to West Virginia. Mountain Mama, this game on a Thursday night with the entire nation watching. West Virginia is not very good at football. They've lost one, maybe two non-conference games against Virginia Tech and Pittsburgh. And the Mountaineers 
pull off the win against top 25 undefeated, top 10 undefeated Baylor team, and Baylor fans are distraught. Now, why does this happen? Why does West Virginia beat Baylor? Well, number one, it's Morgantown. They usually do. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Number two, it just happens that way. Baylor fans just can't really have nice things, and there seems to be that one game every year where you go, all right, this is our week to win this one. It should be easy, and then you just lose. TCU last year, this is one of those situations against a not good team. Baylor loses, and this one's on the road at West Virginia. I foresee the Bears dropping their first game in Morgantown on a Thursday. Cam? I believe in this team, Drake. I believe in this team. I think they're finally going to end that voodoo and win in Morgantown. I will say this. At the very least, it'll be better than the last time they played on a Thursday night in Morgantown because that was awful. It was like 51 to 10. It'll be better than that. Uh, Baylor's going to win, but it is going to be tight, tight, not at all fun to watch. It's going to be an absolute barn burner in not a good way. Like, it's just going to suck. That's like the Thursday Halloween game. Yeah. It's kind of like like 20 to 17. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that was also the, sucked, the right? Thursday Halloween game. Mm-hmm. It was 30 degrees on October 31st. Uh, Everyone was miserable. That was a terrible game. And an 11-1 yeah. Baylor team that hindsight 2020 was, they weren't that great. They just, they had some magic, you know? They had some yeah. magic. And that they game, they won magically. So, Cam, now we are even at both of us, 5-1. and one. Baylor, you have to be mm-hmm. bowl eligible. But the next week, you get Kansas on a Saturday. Hey, at home. And... And I have Baylor wins this one. Homecoming, I believe. Is it really? Oh, God. Probably. It's Kansas at home in October. Yeah. It has to be, right? Yeah, unless Oklahoma State, but October 1st feels too early. So October 22nd, Kansas at Baylor. And, geez, this is going to be a mauling. The Bears will maul those birds. After losing in Morgantown, they beat Kansas by 31 or whatever they want to win by. I think it's going to be a mauling, too. But which way? Mm. Honestly, mm. I've heard Kansas is about to turn the corner. You have me. You Baylor's have... going to be totally overlooking them. You know, party atmosphere. Baylor thinks they can just put on those green and gold uniforms and win. They will. Yeah, they can. They will. Yeah. The Baylor beats Kansas. They are I'm now just bowl... trying. I'm trying, Drake. I'm trying. Middle of October, they're bowl eligible. I, I, I don't foresee Baylor not being bowl eligible in their first seven or eight games, especially when. The next week comes against Texas Tech in Lubbock. Mind you, Baylor's not won against Texas Tech in Lubbock in how many years? We did. We we talked about this. It was thirty-two. The Gauchos will tell us. The Gauchos will tell us. Um, That streak certainly ends this year. I just don't have a ton of confidence in Texas Tech being consistent this year. Baylor, at this point in the season, has figured everything out they may have needed to figure out, and they go to Lubbock. And Joey McGuire gets his guys up for the revenge game, though we're playing Baylor game, and you know, Dave and Joey are hanging out before the before the ball game, and then Baylor just rolls over Texas Tech. I, I just okay, don't you, think this okay. game's close. I was just gonna ask, do, do you think it's it's close at all? No, and you're I, saying no. I don't think so either. But it'll be something like Tech will be up like seventeen to ten at half. And the, we'll be so angry and frustrated and writing writing out think pieces on what's wrong with this team. And then they'll win like 38 to 20. Yeah. Pretty comfortable. I've seen a team win 38 to 20 fairly recently. By yeah. The way. yeah. Yeah. You Go and me Cougs. both. Go Cougs. So there are four games left on this schedule. To this point, Cam, you think Baylor seven and one. I also think Baylor seven and one. Your loss is at BYU. Mine is at West Virginia. In your last four games, you've got a Baylor team at seven and one. No matter what, they are the top fifteen, probably teetering in the top ten range again, trying to build their case late in the season for a college football playoff run. Still in the hunt, certainly for Arlington. If they go undefeated the rest of the way, they go to Arlington. But now on the docket is a trip to Normantown, Baylor and Oklahoma. A, I, in my book, Oklahoma is like a three loss team at this point. Baylor and Oklahoma in Norman. What say you? They already won in Morgantown this year. What difference does it make? Mm. Why not a win in Normantown too? You're riding the bears. They win. It's close. It's a lot of fun. It's nerve wracking, but they win. This is the this is the only 
other one we've had so far that I've that I've changed my mind about mm. so far. Yeah, I'm I'm not on the train of Oklahoma being an elite football team this year. I saw today Sirius XM released their power rankings in the Big 12, and Oklahoma was one. Huh. Didn't make a lot of sense to me why OU would be one. They lost almost everything. We've done um, the question mark thing, Drake. We've done it so much, and I've said it time and again. Baylor also has question marks. Yes. But I've seen the quarterback play in this conference, albeit a little bit. You know, I've seen most of this defense play in the conference. Can't say that about Oklahoma. I've seen this coach coach in this conference. Can't say that about Oklahoma. You know, maybe it's splitting hairs. Maybe that's how you see it. But, yeah, I, I just think Baylor's just a little bit better. That's why I have so much confidence in them. And defensively especially. Again, yeah. that's where if Baylor's going to win a lot of football games. It's because their defense is going to be elite, especially doing it on the road. While I don't have Baylor confidence in Baylor to say they'll go undefeated on the road by any means, I do think they win a game like this in Norman where Bren Venables is trying to get his feet underneath him as Dave Aranda was in his 2-7 and seven season. That happens for Oklahoma. That happens for OU. There's just no way that Oklahoma in my opinion, goes to Arlington this year. They've got too much stuff to figure out. They just lost that one coach. That was a dumpster fire. Yeah, I remember. Is that, that. A, that a Stoops? Was that one of the Stoopses? There's yeah. like a billion of them. I think it was. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't. It was somebody. I think it was. It might have been. No, 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 no. Not a Stoops. Uh, was it not a, a Gundy? Gundy? It, it was, was a Gundy. A Gundy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, arguably worse. Jeez. Uh, so the one now, that played there. Baylor, Oklahoma, they are certainly, the Bears are top 10 team. They come home against Kansas State. Three games left. Kansas State, TCU, Texas. If they win out, they go to the college football playoff. Baylor, Kansas State, in Waco, Cam, did the Bears defend the home turf? Yeah. Yeah. You thought last week was an exciting one, and by last week I mean two months from now. This one's going to be exciting. Flip-flopped with this a couple of times, but... I decided beginning of this search, Baylor was going to win. I'm sticking to it. Baylor beats Kansas State. It's not easy, though. It's a packed house. It's a packed house. 46,000 people, mostly Baylor fans. Weather's pretty good. This is not a Baylor, Texas, Baylor OU at home. There's not half and half fans. This is almost all Baylor fans. And Kansas State is just the better team that day. Oh, Kansas State knocks off Baylor at Baylor. And Baylor fans say, Drake, why? Why would that ever happen? Because, Baylor fan, that's what happens. Welcome to being a Baylor fan. Baylor's not been to the college football playoff. Something's going to happen this season to keep them out of the college football playoff. Look, I'm a senior. I want nothing more than to get excited about a college football playoff run this year. Nothing more. Everything in me wants to pick Baylor to go undefeated. I would love to. They have the capacity to do it. But they're going to lose some games that just don't make sense. And this is one of them. They lose to Kansas State at home. But I have to pick the sensical ones. I have to pick the ones I'm feeling. They finally, finally, I mean, they kind of did last year, but he had a long run. They finally had the defense to really limit Deuce Vaughn. And again, they kind of did it last year, but he had that 80-yard touchdown run, yeah, which almost gets, I mean, keeps them in the game. Uh, they're going to do what they did to Bijan Robinson to Deuce Vaughn, finally. And I think Kansas State's got some good players, but if you limit Deuce Vaughn, like you really take him out of the game, it does become a tall order for them because I think he could be, he could win conference player of the year, to be honest with you, yeah. offensively. At eight and two for the Baylor Bears, now TCU comes to Waco. And I for some, think for some eight and two, yeah. no matter what happens on the Baylor season, Baylor could be winless when this game comes around. And they beat TCU by so many points, like 63 to seven, like a Kansas esque oh, beat oh out of the stadium game because. Number one, they are royally pissed about last season. Number two, I just don't think TCU is that good. Baylor, if I had to pick one game with this guy, like circle a game, Baylor winning by a gajillion, it's this one. Can we make a t-shirt if that happens? What, Baylor win by a gajillion? Yeah, well, like the score, yeah. Because you know, you'll know what I'm talking about. At Shorty's, they have that sweatshirt that's so cool, I'd spend any amount of money for it. The crew neck sweatshirt from like the early 90s. It's On the wall? Like, Baylor 50, Texas 7 yeah. in Austin, and that's so sick. Uh, going to be one of those. Baylor's going to win, and they're going to win it pretty – pretty uh, going away. Comfortable might not be the right word. It might be one of those games, again, like I've said, they pull away at the end, but it's like a 31-14. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, and I predicted I predicted earlier this season and on this show that two Big 12 teams, both Big 12 teams that make the Big 12 title, will have two losses. There will be multi-loss teams. So that's going to vie for whoever goes to the Sugar Bowl. Neither Big 12 team will go to the college football playoff. I am sticking with that, meaning that if Baylor wins in week 12 or whatever, week 14, because the bye weeks and all that jazz, if Baylor wins against Texas in their last game of the season, they go to Arlington. I have already in my book that Kansas State, 10 and 2 overall, is playing in Arlington for Big 12 title. Baylor and Texas, everything on the line for me. For you, Cam, you have the 10 and 1 Bears undefeated in conference play and headed to Arlington no matter what. What do you see in Austin, November 26th? A Baylor victory to go undefeated in the conference in the regular season. 11 and 1 Baylor. It's another one where they fall behind. UT's kind of charged up to get out of it. And then once there's some adversity thrown their way, they can't be arsed with it. So I think Baylor does come back, win the game, go to Arlington. And I agree with, uh, well, I guess technically not because I said a a one loss team, but uh, I don't think a Big 12 team makes the playoff. And I'll tell you why, because if you followed, I, I if, if you had asked me a couple of days ago, I would have said, yeah, if the team's 11 and one from the big 12, they're going to the playoff. But the way this has worked out, I have picked Oklahoma to go eight, and four, uh, Texas to go seven and five, uh, you know, Oklahoma state, I think I had seven and five. So like right. it falls off and all of a sudden you're like, well, where are the quality wins here? Especially if you lose to BYU. It's like, well, where are the wins coming from? Kansas State twice. Yeah, that's pretty good, but it's not enough to get you in. Baylor had, what, I mean, two losses, but what, four top 15, top 20 wins last year before the uh, Sugar Bowl? Somewhere. And there was, if, there was uh, you know, there was no guarantee Oklahoma State was going to be in the playoff if True. they won that game. So <laughs> both of them had some pretty impressive resumes. So I agree with you there, but all that to say, yes, Baylor beats Texas. In Austin, that's going to be fun too. I'll Texas comes in this game seven and four. They are fighting to go eight and four. Please, please, all the donors are going to pull their money if Texas doesn't win eight games. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry that we've crippled your poor little university. Dude, Baylor so beats sad. Texas, but it's not a fun game. There's got to be one of those games in the schedule where the weather just sucks. It's to me, it's <laughs> this one. It it typically does fall. Texas Baylor just feels like a weird game. And I think this, Kansas State, the weather's going to suck if that's our next pick. Yeah, I'm that's picking good. the Kansas State game. How rankings of which games the weather was? It's going to rain. Yeah, November in in, uh, <laughs> in Waco. It's there's always like a a, a big hype Baylor game and it, and it rains. And it, yeah, and everybody's sad. No Texas, stats behind this, but there's always one in Austin. The crowd's not great from either side. Not a ton of Baylor fans show up. Not a ton of Texas fans show up. It's Stay just dreary, like 40 yeah. degrees and kind of grizzling, but it's a three o'clock game too, which is just nap time on a day like this. Baylor wins 24 to 14. Not fun to watch. A lot of defense. Baylor gets out 24 to seven and then Texas puts up a touchdown late. I think that was the score of the game in 19 actually. No, it was. It was 24 to seven. Yeah. 24 to 24 14. To 10. Baylor wins it. Ben Sims never- scores two touchdowns. Yeah. With the yeah. number eight. Yeah. Single digits came out. Pretty cool, by the way. Single digits. No number one. I don't like that. Uh, well, by t- the release of today's show, it might be. be. One. Yeah. yeah. Go Al Walcott, maybe. I, early prediction, Al Walcott. Uh, maybe Siaki Ika. Ika. Be insanity. Yeah. Yeah. So, Baylor beats Texas. I have them at 10 and 2. Baylor goes to Arlington at 10 and 2. Baylor plays Kansas State. Baylor avenges their earlier loss to Kansas State in a game with... For the first time in my life, Baylor plays in a Big 12 championship game where they outnumber the opposing fans. That would be nice. Baylor beats Kansas they do State. Have a, I mean, Kansas State has a decent fan base, like numbers wise, I think. They do. So I, it's I, a drive, though. It's a drive. Right. I think Baylor ends up having more people in Arlington. Kansas State, neither team's elite or going to the college football playoffs. So you don't get that luster. Baylor plays 10 and 2 in Arlington, beats Kansas State 11 and 2 overall, and they go. To the Sugar Bowl, their third Sugar Bowl, by the way, since I got to college. Pretty nuts, yeah. if you. That's a, that's an insane statistic right there. Write that one down. Put it in the game notes. It's three Cam, more than I had when I was there. So. Yeah, sorry about that. If you have Baylor, eleven and one, you still think there's no way they make it to the college football playoff. And who do you have them playing in Arlington? By the way, I have them playing Kansas State. Okay. Okay. Same matchup. Great. The networks are gonna love that. Absolutely gonna love that. Yeah. Um, 
Well, this is a real tough one. I, so I would say no because of the resume thing. I would love it if I was wrong, obviously, being a Baylor yeah. fan, fanboy. Yeah. Um, this is a real tough one, though, Drake. I like Kansas State. Yeah. It's tough for me to sit here and, and say that Baylor's going to beat them twice this year. It's really tough. But uh, you know what they say. If you're not eating, you're pudding. That's right. Well, is it hardest problems for toughest soldiers? Is that it? That's a Mel you're Gibson a quote, guy. isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what they say. <laughs> when he got that DUI, that's what he was telling the cops. Jazz is simple. Simple ain't easy. Simple ain't easy. By the way, I don't want to call out Daddy Dave like this because I love him. I don't think anyone said that. I, I I went through the depths of Google to find who said that I'm for my Inside the Bear story yesterday. I'm convinced that Dave said it. That like <laughs> Dave comes out one day and is like, I was I was in a jazz band and I used to say jazz. It's either that or he comes out and he's like, sorry guys, it was actually Al Gore who said that. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Yeah, it's just like a Bill Clinton. It's a Genghis, semi jazz guy. Genghis yeah. Khanism. It's a, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, so I it's think tough. it's better if Dave was in a jazz band and he's it's tough it, for me to say that Baylor is going to beat Kansas State twice, go undefeated in the conference, win the conference championship. Are you still going to say it? Even though it's but by golly, I'm going to say yeah. it. They're going to get one of these again. For those of you not watching on YouTube, get bent. Back to back. Belly to belly, you might say. For yours, mine, an hour. Baylor Bear. All right. Cam and Drake both at Baylor winning the Big 12 championship game in Arlington. I just Cam. have to, Drake. This was the screw it. I could have said screw it and seven and five, but I'm going to go something even more insane. 11 and one undefeated in the conference, back to back conference championships. 12 and one in Cam's book, possibility of finishing 13 and one in the Sugar Bowl because he doesn't believe Baylor will be in a Big 12 champion. In the it's, been almost a, it's been a, uh, I think, 100 years. Did they do it in the 20s when they went back to back conference championships? I don't know. It was either 22 and 23 or 22 and 24. Either way. 13, 14? That streak is going to continue because you remember they shared in 2014. I don't know uh, if you remember yeah. that. So yeah. we're not just outright. And outright conference championships. And you know what? Same thing's going to happen this year. Mm. Outright conference. Big 12 championship game. They're going to go to nine play. overtimes. It's still going to be tied. And the roof's going to cave in. And the refs are going to be like, this is, you know, not, neither of you going to the playoffs. This is a safety concern now. And Paul they share the Big 12 championship. Both to everybody shakes hands. <laughs> Yep. Everybody claps for Bob Bowlesby. Yep. Everybody claps for Bob Bowlesby. They're like, there's a there's a Jeff Foxworthy special on tonight, and the Kansas people need to get home for that. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, it's a t- it's a draw, boys. Each team get, gets a point. Get you just pat on the butt back to Little Apple. Gotcha. Yeah. Go watch some basketball. Jerome Tang. Yeah. If Kansas State, <clears throat> let's let's play this out. One last thing before we go. One let's just say Kansas State is undefeated home. going into that game. Wild. They're still playing Baylor. They're undefeated. They win. They're conference champions, and they're in the playoff. Do you think they roll out a special jersey? Yeah. That's Black. Awesome. Anthracite. That would be sick. That would be a not great look. Awesome. No jersey. Not great Not great for um, the around. announcers. Um, no. But, yeah, I can never see those. Been there. But it would look great. Baylor, in my book, Sugar Bowl. 11 and, sure. 11 and 2 going to New Orleans my senior year. I get to go to Bourbon Street. Ah, Again. For Cam, Baylor is 12 and 1 and going to the Sugar Bowl. So we both are going to see each other in New Orleans. Cam, been an absolute pleasure. Hopefully, somebody pays for us to go there, by the way. Speaking of, I'm Drake Toll. That's Cameron Stewart. It's just pennies a day. We both you work can. for Sports Illustrated inside the Bears. Wait a second. Maybe that. Uh, and. Football's coming up. Tomorrow, Scotty Swingler joins the show to break down Baylor and Albany. Baylor and Albany, baby. We are so close to Baylor football season. Thanks for making Locked On Baylor your first listen every single day. This has been, it always will be, just not always with Cam. Sorry, you guys. Four shows this week. Kind of nuts. He paid me. Locked On Baylor. Tip off club.